Mars is kind of like a graveyard for spacecraft. It's actually really hard to send something from Earth and land it on Mars. NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. Perseverance, NASA's rover, captured a breathtaking view of Mars' Belva crater, captivating people around the world. This discovery is a step in NASA's grand vision to explore Mars and the Moon, aiming to eventually have humans set foot on Mars. The journey to Mars starts with the Artemis missions to the Moon, laying the groundwork for future Martian expeditions. In April 2023, from within the vast Jezero crater, Perseverance snapped 152 photos of Belva crater, merging them into a single detailed image that offers scientists insights into Mars's ancient climate and geology. What secrets might these Martian soils whisper about past life? Let's understand the secret messages about a horrifying incident on a planet very similar to Earth, Mars. Perseverance's latest discoveries in the Martian deserts, NASA's rover Perseverance has shared an incredible view of Mars's Belva crater, capturing attention from all over with its stunning footage. This is part of NASA's larger plan to explore both Mars and the Moon, aiming to eventually send humans to the Red Planet. The journey to Mars starts with the Artemis missions to the Moon, laying the groundwork for the future exploration of Mars. On April 22, 2023, Perseverance used its Mascam Z camera to take 152 snapshots of Belva Crater, nestled within the larger Jezero Crater. These images were combined into a detailed mosaic, offering scientists a closer look at the interior of Jezero Crater and providing insights into Mars's geological history and ancient climate. The main goal of Perseverance's mission is to search for signs of past microbial life on Mars, focusing on astrobiology. It's tasked with collecting and storing Martian rock and soil samples. These samples are precious and will be sent back to Earth for detailed analysis in a collaborative effort between NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA. This mission is a crucial step in understanding Mars better and preparing for human exploration. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory oversees the operations of Perseverance. The rover is accompanied by the Ingenuity helicopter, which provides aerial images of its exploration, including the recent visit to Belva Crater. This collaboration between rover and helicopter offers unique perspectives of Mars, bringing the distant planet closer to us. This mission to Mars is a testament to the spirit of exploration and international cooperation, aiming to uncover the mysteries of our solar system. Through Perseverance's lenses, we're all invited to join this exciting adventure, dreaming of the day humans will walk on Mars. Let's dive into the exciting stories of venturing into unknown territories where humanity has recently marked a new milestone with its bold or maybe even slightly reckless steps on the Martian surface. The idea of living on Mars, a topic that once existed only in science fiction books and during late night talks full of wild guesses, has been pushed into the limelight thanks to NASA and its rover named Perseverance. People at NASA, who have affectionately nicknamed the rover Percy, have been closely watching it as it roams the Martian ground of Jezero Crater, almost like it's on a treasure hunt on another planet. For about a year and a half, Percy has been exploring Mars, its wheels gently touching the Martian ground, looking for any signs that life could exist there, or at least could have existed at some point. The burning question, is there life on Mars? feels like it's just within our grasp, yet it always seems just a bit too far to actually answer. Interestingly, while we're all in on finding life on another planet, we're having a hard time taking care of life on Earth. But that's a topic for another discussion, maybe on a day when we're not so caught up in the excitement of possibly finding our cosmic neighbors. Astrobiologists, who are always fascinated by what's beyond our planet, see the discovery of water on Mars as a glimmer of hope. On Earth, 
Water is the foundation of life, the spark that started the vast diversity of living things we see today. So the thinking goes, if there's water on Mars, maybe Mars could support life too. This idea is thrilling and sparks imaginations about living on Mars and what it would mean to interact with beings from another world. It's amusing to think about how eager we are to find a new home when we're still figuring out how to properly care for our own planet. NASA's mission in 2020, aimed at collecting rock samples and mapping the landscape of Mars, is betting everything on solving the puzzle of life there. This goal is admirable, but also shows how much we yearn to know we're not alone in the universe. This journey is filled with serious scientific work, but also a touch of fantasy, because the thought of finding Martians or Martian microbes by our robotic representatives adds a bit of wonder to our everyday lives. Percy's journey on Mars is more than just a search for life beyond Earth. It's a reflection of our own desire to understand more, although sometimes we might be a bit too confident in our endeavors. The thought that we could travel among the stars and maybe meet other forms of life is thrilling. Yet, this adventurous spirit also reminds us of our own vulnerability and the limits to what we know. As we look through the data Percy sends back, we're faced with the potential of finding life on Mars and what that would mean for our understanding of life itself. The quest for life on Mars is as much about solving the mysteries of the universe as it is about dealing with the big questions about our existence on this small blue planet. In our quest to figure out if there's life on Mars now or if there ever was, the smartest place to start looking is where scientists think water used to be. Basically, anywhere there was water, like lakes, you'd expect to find the most living things hanging around nearby. So, the Gizero Crater, which means water in Scandinavian, was picked as the landing spot for the Perseverance rover in 2021 because experts thought this huge crater was once a lake. When Perseverance, or Percy for short, touched down there in February 2021, it was a big deal. The spot where it landed was named after Octavia E. Butler, a famous African-American science fiction writer, which is pretty cool because it blends the worlds of science and imagination. Now let us reveal more about a place beyond Earth, where old stories might tell us about life, Jezero Crater's billion-year legacy. Scientists have a hunch that the Jezero Crater was home to the longest river on Mars, and that this river fed a lake that lasted for a very, very long time, like billions of years. When you think about it, that's a long time for life to potentially pop up and evolve. Considering Mars has been around for about 4.6 billion years, the same age as Earth, it's not too far-fetched to think there could have been life there at some point, or maybe, just maybe, there's still some form of life clinging on. Now let's talk about Sherlock. It's this super-advanced gadget that Perseverance has, designed to look really closely at Martian rocks and dust to find any signs of organic stuff, which is basically the building blocks of life. The full name is a mouthful, scanning habitable environments with ramen and luminescence for organics and chemicals. But why does NASA care so much about finding organic materials on Mars? Well, finding these materials could be the first step in proving there's life beyond Earth, which would be a monumental discovery. In our journey to uncover the mysteries of Mars and the potential of extraterrestrial life, the Gizero Crater serves as a focal point of our curiosity and scientific endeavor. The selection of this crater as Perseverance's landing site, its connection to the possibility of ancient water bodies, and the use of high-tech tools like Sherlock all highlight our ongoing quest to understand the universe and our place within it. The naming of the landing site after a science fiction author also reminds us of the thin line between the stories we imagine and the realities we may discover. Through perseverance, pun intended, and the application of science, we continue to seek answers to some of the most profound questions about life beyond our planet. Imagine a scene from a space adventure where Mars plays the main role. Picture the Perseverance rover, which people affectionately call Percy, exploring a crater on Mars named Jezero. In this vast and empty landscape, Percy a rover the size of a car sent from Earth has been searching through Martian dust and stones. What it finds is quite remarkable. Signs of organic matter. 
This could mean pieces of molecules that were once part of living things, maybe the leftovers from what they ate or what was left when they decayed away. This exciting discovery was shared with the world on September 15th. It's not just a win for science, it feels like a quest to find friends in the huge, cold universe. Percy explored over eight miles, checking out several ridges inside the crater and found these signs of organic matter in two places with interesting names, Skinner's Ridge and Wildcat Ridge. At these spots, Percy found the most organic matter compared to any other Mars rover mission. Sunanda Sharma, who works with one of Perseverance's instruments, suggested these discoveries could lead us to something big, maybe even life beyond Earth. The excitement around the NASA rover named Perseverance, or Percy for short, shows us just how big of a step we're taking in learning more about Mars and figuring out our place in the vast universe. This rover was sent into space on July 30th, 2020, and made its way to Mars's surface, landing in a place called Jezero Crater on February 18th, 2021. Its main job is to look around for any signs that long ago, there might have been life on Mars. It's also picking up bits of rock and dust to possibly send back to Earth one day. This part of its mission is really important because it sets the stage for getting those samples back to Earth by 2031, where scientists can study them up close. What really stands out about Perseverance is that it brought along a tiny helicopter named Ingenuity. This little copter did something no one's ever done before. It flew on another planet. This shows that maybe one day we could fly around Mars to explore it even more. Plus, Perseverance is super advanced compared to the rovers that came before it. It can drive by itself for more than a football field's length daily, making its own maps of where it's going on Mars. With its 19 cameras and two microphones, Perseverance lets us see and hear Mars like never before, making it feel like we're right there with it. It's packed with scientific tools that help it study the rocks and air on Mars. Some of these tools are really special because they can find out what the rocks are made of and if there's anything in them that might tell us Mars was once home to tiny living things. This mission isn't just about collecting rocks or taking pictures. It's a big step towards understanding if we're alone in the universe and preparing for the day humans will walk on Mars. It's exploring a very old lake bed that might have kept evidence of past life safe for us to find. It's also testing out ways to make air out of Mars's atmosphere, which could help astronauts live there one day. This trip to Mars is a lot like the excitement people felt in 1996 when scientists thought they found signs of life from Mars in a meteorite. Just like back then, we're still trying to find out if there's life on other planets. Every new thing Perseverance discovers gets us closer to answering these big questions. Plus, it's doing experiments like making oxygen from the Martian air, which could help future astronauts breathe on Mars or make fuel to get back home. Now, let's look closer at big finds, where even sand can show signs of ancient life, tracing life's footprints from Mars to Earth. So, as we continue to look into space, hoping to find signs of life on Mars, one has to wonder why we are so drawn to this search. Is it because we don't want to feel alone in the universe? Or are we just trying to prove our hopeful guesses, right? The discovery of organic matter on Mars is important for science, but it also makes us think about the possibility of having had tiny living neighbors on a planet not too different from ours. A chunk of rock from space, which originally broke off from Mars, made its way through the vastness of space and ended up in Antarctica. Here, it was discovered by geologists who were there to enjoy snowboarding. McKay, one of the people who found this Martian rock, decided to show it off and initiated a conversation about whether Mars could have life. This topic sparked a lot of debates, and not just among everyday people. Even scientists, McKay's colleagues, had mixed feelings. For instance, William Shop argued that this rock, despite its origins, was being overly celebrated. He believed that just because the rock had some organic materials didn't necessarily mean there was proof of life on Mars right now. 
Currently, scientists have differing opinions on the matter, with about 75% thinking that Mars once harbored life billions of years ago, around 3.6 billion years to be precise, which coincides with the time the Gezero crater became dry. On the other hand, a smaller group thinks that Mars might still host life forms. A very few, really just a handful, argue that Mars never supported life. This is the mystery that Percy, a Mars rover equipped with cameras, microphones, and instruments for collecting samples, aims to solve. Percy has the mission to gather more than 43 samples from the Martian surface, analyze sounds, and check for elements like oxygen. Since its landing on Mars in February 2021, along with Ingenuity, a mini-drone designed to collect airborne samples, they've been exploring Mars. To this day, Ingenuity has made 29 flights across the Martian landscape, achieving the longest flight duration ever recorded on Mars. The big question remains, what will happen if Percy finds signs of life on Mars? Up to now, we've discussed Percy, which is as big as a car, and its ambitious journey on the Red Planet. People get really excited when they hear about Mars, thinking they're going to find out something huge. But really, what's been found so far is pretty simple stuff, like old organic matter stuck in rocks. Now imagine if one day we find an actual fossil on Mars, thanks to the Perseverance rover. That would be a huge deal, right? But let's keep our feet on the ground. We're not talking about finding aliens ready to attack us. We're talking about finding proof that there once was life on Mars, something totally different from anything on Earth. This discovery would make everyone rethink what they know about life and where it can exist. Suddenly, space agencies would have to deal with the fact that we're not alone in the universe. People would start asking big questions about life and where it comes from. Finding life on Mars would open up a lot of conversations about how life can look really different depending on where it is. It makes us wonder if life on Earth is just one possibility out of many. The big question would be how life started on Mars. Did it start there and then come to Earth? Or did life start independently on both planets? This is something scientists would really want to figure out. Discovering life on Mars would also remind us that there's so much we don't know about the universe. It would show us that the universe is much more complicated than we might think. And it would challenge us to think about our place in all of this. The idea that all life, including humans, evolved from simple cells over billions of years is a basic concept in biology. It's about how living things change over time to better fit into their environments, leading to the huge variety of life we see today. This process of change and adaptation is what we study in evolutionary biology. Thinking about life on Mars, we get closer to understanding how life might have spread in the universe. Elon Musk's Martian dream and its panspermia reality. When we look at Mars, we start to wonder even more about how life began. There are scientists who think that life could have started on Mars even before it appeared on Earth. They believe this because of an idea called panspermia. This idea suggests that life can move between planets on things like space rocks, asteroids, and comets. Mars, with its old riverbeds, and the possibility that it once had the right conditions for life makes us think it could have been a place where life began. The machines we've sent to Mars, like the rover named Perseverance, or Percy for short, have shown us pictures of what looks like a lifeless desert. However, these missions have also found signs that Mars used to have conditions that could have supported life, such as water, important minerals, and maybe even the building blocks of life. This makes people wonder if life on Mars, if it ever existed, could have traveled to Earth on meteorites, hinting that life as we know it might have come from space. Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, is really excited about the idea of humans living on Mars. He thinks we should make life spread across planets, which has made some people very excited and others a bit doubtful. Musk's big dreams are part of a larger interest in exploring space and looking for life beyond Earth. 
The things that Mars rovers have found, like signs of old water streams and places that might have been good for life, make the thought of living on Mars feel more real and possible. A few points back up the idea that life on Earth might have started on Mars. Mars had what was needed for life to start, like water in liquid form, the building blocks of life, and different environments that could have supported life getting started. Mars was ready for life earlier than Earth, which was still dealing with the effects of a big collision that created the moon. Mars also went through periods of being wet and dry, which could have helped concentrate the building blocks of life. One reason people might doubt life started on Mars is because Mars doesn't have a big moon like Earth's, which affects the tides and might have been important for life to develop on our planet. But if life started in places like hot water springs or under conditions that were cold and salty, Mars's early environment might have been better suited for life than Earth's. Life beginning on Mars and possibly being connected to the origin of life on Earth is a fascinating concept. It suggests that Earth might not have been the starting point for life in our solar system. Instead, life could have come from Mars, hinting at a more complex story of how living things developed over time. This idea challenges us to think about our place in the universe and the potential for life beyond our planet. Elon Musk's enthusiasm for Mars exploration and colonization adds to the excitement around this topic. He's known for turning big ideas into reality, and his focus on Mars makes people wonder about the possibilities of living on another planet. While some see Musk as just dreaming big, others believe in his vision and the advancements it could bring. His projects, including sending robots to Mars to gather information, help us learn more about the planet and whether it could be a second home for humanity. As we learn more about Mars and consider the idea of life starting there, it's important to keep an open mind. The discoveries made by rovers like Percy give us valuable information about the planet's conditions and history. At the same time, the discussions and plans for exploring Mars, driven by people like Elon Musk, inspire us to think about the future and our role in space exploration. Whether or not we'll be able to live on Mars, the journey of discovering more about our neighboring planet is an exciting adventure that could teach us a lot about life in the universe. Back in 1996, people started talking about the possibility that Mars could support life. This idea caught the attention of a very rich businessman who decided to start his own space company, SpaceX, in 2002. His big goal was to make it possible for humans to live on Mars one day. A lot of people got excited about the idea and signed up, hoping to be among the first to move there and maybe even make some money from it. However, scientists have some warnings for those dreaming of moving to Mars. They say that just because we might find life on Mars doesn't mean it's a good idea for people to leave Earth and go live there. Mars is very different from Earth. It used to have water, but not anymore which means it's not a welcoming place for life as we know it. The air on Mars isn't like Earth's air. It doesn't have enough oxygen for humans to breathe, and there's hardly any water. On top of that, Mars has a lot of cosmic radiation, much more than we're used to. This radiation is very harmful, and it would make living there very dangerous. This makes the story in the movie The Martian seem not very realistic. When we think of Martians, or what beings from Mars might look like, everyone has a different idea. But living on Mars would be extremely hard for humans. Now, we face Mars' challenges, asking why we should give up our dream for good. Why living on the Red Planet is a terrible mistake. This excitement about living on Mars shows how much people are interested in exploring space and finding new places to live. But the reality of Mars makes it clear that living there would be very tough. It doesn't have the things we need to survive, like air and water, and the high levels of radiation are a big problem. So even though it's fun to think about moving to Mars, we need to remember how difficult and dangerous it would actually be. Scientists are trying to remind everyone that while Mars is an interesting place to learn about, making it a new home for humans is not going to be easy. In our minds, shaped by countless movies, we often picture Martians as something out of a sci-fi horror show, shriveled with huge eyes, a look that's more about getting a good scare than anything based on science. But what if Martians were real? How would they look? 
Let's play with the idea that they might be much taller than us humans. Since we can't guess their genetics, let's say their environment made them that way. Being tall could come from needing to roam far and wide on their planet, searching for food, and having to outdo each other for what little they find. Would they be wrinkled and dried up like prunes? That's something to think about. Mars is a lot farther from the sun than Earth, making it much colder. So if Martians didn't have any fur or hair, they'd probably be too cold to survive. Plus, the cold might make it impossible for them to exist in the first place. And about those big eyes, well, that's a maybe. The high levels of radiation on Mars could mean they'd either lose their sight or need some serious eye protection to deal with it. We'd have to actually meet a Martian or have one bump into the Perseverance rover to find out for sure. If we really dig into it, imagining Martians being taller makes sense if you think about the environment they'd live in. They'd have to cover large areas to find food, facing tough competition. This would mean being tall could be an advantage, helping them see over long distances and maybe even run faster. On the wrinkly skin front, considering Mars's cold climate, it's hard to see them being all shriveled up. Without any warmth from the sun, like we have on Earth, any Martian creatures would need some kind of protection against the cold. Maybe even a thick layer of fur, or some other feature we haven't thought of. As for the idea of them having huge eyes, the intense radiation on Mars does make you wonder. It could either make their eyes very different from ours, maybe better at seeing in harsh conditions, or it might mean they have evolved to not rely on sight as much. Thinking about Martians and what they might look like is a fun exercise in creativity and science. It's a mix of guessing, based on the environment we know Mars has, and adding a bit of imagination. Whether they are tall, have big eyes, or are covered in fur, the idea of Martians has always captured our curiosity. It's a reminder of how much we still have to learn about our universe and the potential for life beyond our planet. NASA's Mars rover, nicknamed Perseverance or Percy, is the latest in a line of robotic explorers sent to Mars. It's part of a big mission called Mars 2020. So far, Percy has been doing a great job. It has picked up bits of organic matter from Mars, specifically from a place called the Jezero Crater. Now, finding these bits doesn't directly prove that Mars has life, but it's a step towards possibly finding out more about this question. As Sharma mentioned, it's a small push towards figuring out if life ever existed on Mars. Percy has spent over 598 Martian days, which is about 653 days for us here on Earth, exploring the surface of Mars. It's set to return to Earth in the year 2033, after it's done looking around and collecting data. The big question it's trying to answer is whether there's life on Mars. Let's take a moment to think about what Percy is doing on Mars. It's incredible to think that we have sent a robot the size of a car all the way to another planet to look around and send information back to us. Percy has been able to collect small pieces of what could be the building blocks of life from the Martian soil. But finding these pieces doesn't exactly mean we've found Martian creatures. It's more like finding clues that could lead us to understand if Mars could have supported life in the past. For almost two Earth years, Percy has been wandering around Mars, taking pictures and collecting samples. Imagine a remote-controlled car, but on another planet, and instead of playing, it's doing really important scientific work. By the time it comes back home in 2033, Percy will have collected a lot of information about Mars. But it's important to remember that even though finding organic matter is a big deal, it's only one piece of the puzzle. The mission of Perseverance is really about trying to answer big questions about life beyond Earth. It's fascinating to think about, and it shows how much humans are curious about the universe. But even with all this technology and the hard work of scientists, we might still be left with more questions than answers. The search for life on Mars is like putting together a giant puzzle without knowing what the final picture is supposed to look like. So while Percy's findings are exciting and a big step in space exploration, we should keep in mind that this is just the beginning. There's still so much we don't know, and each piece of information we get 
helps us understand a little bit more about our place in the universe. The journey of perseverance on Mars is a reminder of how much there is to discover and how even the smallest findings can be a part of something much bigger. If Percy uncovers undeniable proof of past life on Mars, what does that mean for humanity's understanding of life in the universe? Smash that like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts below.